all the tutorials you'll ever need. Brought to you in part by... Wajo789. What's up guys? This is Wacho789 here, bringing you another video from War Selection today. This time, it is a legionary rush strategy along with more smart base building uh, commentary and tips and tricks. And if you guys have already probably noticed, uh, yes, I bought a brand new mic. So uh, look forward to a much higher quality of, of my voice. Um, for those of you who don't like listening to my voice, oh well, but uh, I'm very excited about it. I, it already sounds a lot better, so uh, no more robot sounding uh, sounding Watcho 789. So uh, looking forward to all the content that will come with an improved voice sound. But anyway, uh, I got a couple of comments on this Legionary Rush strategy. So first off, uh, this is not a strategy for newer players. Um, it's definitely a very hard strategy to pull off, even uh, in the actual guide and the video that of the game that I show doing this. Uh, just having three villagers, I think it was three, maybe even four, uh, killed off by boars and um, animals in the Stone Age uh, caused me to be a whole like 90 seconds behind schedule, um, which ended up you know being fine because it is still a great strategy nonetheless. But uh, when pulled off, like this strategy, is it, you want to do it as fast as possible. And um, but what makes it so hard is that. Uh, the economy management is extremely difficult and it's different every time solely because of like walking times will actually heavily impact how quickly you're getting resources and you feel the effects uh, fully when going for legionaries in this one. Um, but no matter the uh, situation, uh, legionaries are a super strong unit, uh, not overpowered. There are definite, definite counters to it, which I do discuss briefly in the video, but this guide uh, is definitely for players who are more comfortable with the game and have had a chance to uh, work on um, economy management and things like that and play quickly, like learn your hotkeys, all of those things, um, because you need to be, you'll, you'll have to utilize all of that uh, in this guide and be comfortable with rotating your villagers to resources that you need. And, and if even better, uh, predicting what you're gonna need and what you're gonna be low on before it happens. Um, but with that, all that being said, I think it's a great video and definitely watch it anyway, uh, just so you guys can try to replicate it. Um, there are different variations that you can do to perhaps improve this time, the timings of this, uh, strategy even more i've definitely pulled off faster timings than i show in this video uh, but it's a super fun game and uh also the smart base building uh, i had a more open map this time so uh again every video every game that i play now i will be doing smart base building and probably be throwing in some tips and comments and my thought process as i uh, explore the map around me uh, but that's definitely uh, enough talking from me uh here is the legionary rush strategy with more smart base building commentary i hope you guys enjoy All right, so here we are in the, what will be the Legionary Rush Guide. Um, and we're also gonna get, once again, we will be doing smart base building to go um, top it all off. Um, but this is a, here we are, uh, I just joined the first game that I had and we are in a 4v4. So that should be perfect. I should be able to, um, as long as I don't get rushed <laughs> before everyone else. We will be good because part of the legionary strategy is you know this is better in, for like bigger team games and kind of winning your local area um but you obviously until about 15 minutes i'm um rather exposed i would say we can probably make it through the uh 12 minute mark um if we get hit then we'll be okay but uh we'll have to see how it goes so um i'm a little bit disappointed with the wood line setup just because uh, the bulwark here is completely blocking these villagers, so it's making it a bit of a, a hassle here. Um, we're going to go ahead and after that warehouse is done, we'll put that villager onto the deer that we managed to shoot. Um, 
to your side the timings will be roughly about the same because mostly your your limiting factor is going to be iron so um definitely what is going to be super important for this game is finding iron and obviously right now we're uh, gonna be pop capped for a moment here because yeah so what I'm gonna do um, I would say avoid if you can avoid doing the uh, first shoes upgrade oh and it's because I thought I had put a waypoint on the wood line but apparently I didn't so that's that that's fine uh, we're gonna explore with this villager this way after that but I, I went ahead I'm just gonna get the first shoes upgrade now first shoes and smart base building I, I realize is actually there's more value to it than I thought um, just because I do want that extra speed to keep villagers alive is I'm gonna use probably to use probably two to three villagers here to uh, scatter around my base and start looking at you know where I want to build my temple where I want to set up those walls I think ideally here uh, maybe temple like right here might be a good spot um, again up enemy is definitely northwest here if you look at the mini map they they're going to be northwest so putting my temple somewhere over here is going to provide me a little bit more safety uh, than putting it up here up top where it's going to be the first thing that they run into uh, but with that being said we're going to go ahead and start getting our scouting done so i'm going to add a second villager to the scouting uh, mix here and we'll see <clears throat> what's around us so this is a big forest. This is going to be nice. Um, I'm going to see if I can get around it, maybe. Um, we also have a big forest right here and another iron pit. So once again, this suggests that our opponents are definitely very close to us. Um, and this is pretty close to the edge here. So we're going to go ahead and scout to the edge just because that's another iron. Nice. Yeah, as you can see here, we're having no issue. Um... So I think Temple, like right here, honestly, seems like a really good spot. So we'll have to see. Um, I need to build a house. We'll build it there because I'm expecting to probably put the Temple like right here. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, okay, four there. Not ideal. You're get continuing to gather wood. Now, let's see. Can she get through here? That board's being very pesky. Okay easy wall off right there oh is he gonna kill this villager should get away now without first shoes this villager would 100 percent be dead wow the board did not stop that's crazy um keep training villagers don't forget about that uh that looks pretty decent i want to explore more up here uh i do need to get down here but this boar is going to be quite the pain to deal with you finish the house yet? Thank you. Now go work on that. And you go work on that. Got plenty of resources. Okay, interesting. So definitely a big uh, open point right there, but should be fairly wallable. I just want to get down here now, and then that will kind of complete what we need to scout. Um, we'll probably wall from here to here, here to here, here to here, and then we'll see what's going on down here. And then up here, we're just going to kind of have to keep somewhat open. We'll see. Um, I think we're gonna add. We're gonna go ahead and add the stone cutter down here. All right, great. You're gonna harass me for days, aren't you? You know what? We're we're gonna we're gonna say screw this boar. This boar is really gonna. Oh, all the animals, man. All the animals. All right, so that boar is gonna go back, but the villager is gonna die, and I still don't see what's going on. A lot of ugly villager losses here, so that's definitely gonna slow the timings down. Um, don't die. Thank you. We're going to build that. And then we're going to put that right there. Cool. You guys can go there next. It's a very sloppy start. Um, not in all, all that happy with it. But um, as far as starts go, you know, it, it's going to be the same as always, right? Uh, we're going to add, um, as because we're going here, we're going to do 10 houses. And we obviously get our stone cutter. Um, probably going to maybe think about house walling this way. Um, let's see, how many houses are we at? We're at 10 houses now. So we're going to actually delete those, and then we'll build them in the Bronze Age. That should be no problem. We're going to go ahead and add these villagers to the mix here. 
Now, um, what I did there at the end, which may not have been quite seen. Oh, and then I guess we got to figure out where we want to put our farm. Um, farm right here. This is a good spot for it, for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade all those villagers. Immediately upon getting to the European Bronze Age, uh, we're going to add some villagers to iron. Uh, I want to upgrade that. Um, we got plenty of wood, so all right, so those guys are done. Um, farm right here seems to make the most sense. I want to put it maybe actually a little bit here just so I can put a second warehouse right there. We'll be able to warehouse this and warehouse this and get onto three different iron uh, nodes, which will be really nice. Now, uh, just as far as the economy goes, because I had a lot of distractions going on, um, essentially what you want to do is you're going to go eight, the first uh, villagers, you want to get eight on the berries. Um, and then, uh, obviously, it's uh, two houses with one villager, warehouse and the berries with another. And then after that, the rest of the villagers go to wood. And then once you start teching up, you're going to want to add more villagers to berries until you get between 13 and 15. And here, 14 should be plenty. Um, and as soon as you hit the Bronze Age, you're going to immediately start adding villagers to a warehouse it, or to iron. If you didn't manage to uh, build your temple on an iron pit, you don't always have to because sometimes it makes more sense to do it like on stone or near forest. Uh, just get a warehouse. I usually build a Stone Age warehouse and then I'll upgrade it. But the first villagers in the Bronze Age will go to iron. And this is going to be kind of the name of the game um, for quite some time as we try to uh, get all of our upgrades, um, but we just need to start getting that iron um, income coming up. We can go ahead and delete that warehouse to save on wood. And then we're going to keep upgrading our houses. All of our villagers are already upgraded, which is great, but that's because we lost so many. Um, but all right, cool. So we got five here. And as far as wood goes, we're on 21. Honestly, we want to get to like 25. Um, that's going to be super important. Um, as far as barracks go, I kind of want to put them on the front line. So we're going to do this, three, four, five. That's good. We'll start with one villager just because we're really low on wood for the time being. Um, in fact, I might rotate. So part of these, you know, the success of this is going to be, you know, being able to rotate your villagers as needed. So we've got plenty of villagers on wood right now. Um, but ideally, I don't go up to the Iron Age until I'm at 50 villagers. So whatever um, you went up in the Stone Age with, it doesn't really matter exactly. But I just know that I like to have 50 villagers uh, when it's time to go to the Iron Age. Um, and I think, honestly, the most important thing here is to be... Uh, getting our iron economy set up and we're we have so much excess food because we didn't have to upgrade that many villagers um, So we'll add these last few villagers back to food and that's exactly what we're gonna do So that should be great um, now we've got all the um, economy that we need for now And we're gonna start building a barracks. So I go for six barracks. Um, so that's two. This is gonna be five So let's do a sixth barracks right here And then we're also gonna need a tower. So remember we want to start adding towers um, this is definitely exposed, so we're going to wall here. And then, honestly, we'll put a tower here. And that's why we needed the extra wood villagers. So that's all going nicely. And then um, once we go, we're going to click up to the Iron Age here. Uh, once we're ready, we, we actually can afford it now. We're going to go get the armor upgrade. So we might as well get the armor upgrade while uh, we're going to the Iron Age because when we hit the Iron Age, we want to immediately get that sword damage upgrade and not have to worry about the armor upgrade. You know, we're all about uh, saving time here and getting speed. So we're at 9 minutes and 50 seconds. Um, a little bit behind schedule just because of all the uh, different things. But ideally, this strategy will get you um, about... I would say tw almost tw about 20 legionaries by 15 minutes. At, at its best, you're, you're looking at like 25 and probably at your worst around 15. So, um, but all by 15 minutes. And that's not, um, you'll probably start getting your first ones out by around 13 minutes. So if all goes to plan, but we are a little bit behind schedule. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, hopefully the smart base building will help us out here. So I do wanna kind of wall this off. Uh, that's such a big wall. Um, I think what we'll do here, because we don't want to lose your, um, you don't want to lose your uh, <clears throat> forge, because rebuilding that is expensive, and it's not something you want to have to worry about. Um, so what we're, what I did here is, um, rather than just building a huge wall, I want to actually get some, you know, economic productivity out of it. We need uh, 16 houses, so there's one, two, three, four, five houses. And then we can, um, I'm going to say maybe we'll add our 16th here. Actually, 
probably over here because I do want to start walling off this as well. So, boom. And I do want like one more tower. Honestly, like right next to this might be good or maybe we'll put it over here. I'm not entirely sure. Honestly here, because if I were to get hit by archers, I want something dealing damage back. Um, so right there is going to be a good place to put it. So he can start working on the tower. Um, I don't think we're fully walled off here, but we do have two towers. Uh, this is going to inherently be a lot easier of a base to defend. Um, it's not perfect because we did have a lot of openings, but you know, every video I'm just going to be doing smart base building. So you'll kind of see how I, I deal with the completely random spawns that we're going to get. Um, this is open, so I don't like that. Let's um, wall piece here. Wall piece there. That's probably the most important wall off here I'm doing right now. And then just in case, I don't know if that's like you can get through that, but I want to make sure. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so now we're in the Iron Age. First thing we're going to do is get the population upgrade. We're going to get all of our eco upgrades. We're going to get the uh, research, how to train the legionaries. And then also we're going to get the damage upgrade. So that's kind of why we already, uh, right off the get-go, we're getting a lot of iron. Um, we're going to run a little low on wood here, but that's that should be all right. We're on 12 villagers in food, and that's, again, because we lost. Honestly, if you have the time, I recommend going up... Um, with like 52 to 55 villagers, but um, obviously the longer you're doing that, the slower you're gonna be up to um, legionaries. And as we can see here, we're already at 13 minutes and we have no legionaries on the board um, because we're still researching it. So we are a little bit behind schedule, but that should be okay. Um, I do wanna warehouse this as well. And I wanna get another tower up if I'm gonna be doing that. Um, once again, you don't want towers up here exposed. We wanna put them behind our um, buildings where we can. I think honestly just a second one right here makes a lot of sense. Oh, but now we're out of wood. All right. So let's see, what can we do about that? It's because we're still building a lot of uh, stuff here. We're gonna rotate our villagers off of food again because we have a, we can afford to get, oh, did you trap yourself? No, you didn't. All right, cool, that should be all right. Um, you're idle, you're building that wall. I don't think you can get through there, can he? Yeah, no, you can't. So that should be all right. We'll see how that finishes up. Okay, boom, and then there we go. And we're gonna keep training villagers. All right, and then we're gonna start training legionaries. So obviously right here, we're not having a perfect uh, situation, but that'll be okay. And then we um, obviously need to check how we can get through here. Um, let's definitely wall this off too. And now pretty much the only way to get through is from up top and they have to go through three towers. Um, so we're, we're nice and safe here. I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'm adding villagers to wood because that's clearly what I'm lacking. And they still got through because there needs to be a wall piece right here. Um, that should probably fix it. Perfect. Is he gonna walk through here? Yep. That's why we check guys. So we're gonna go through. And now we're gonna build it. Now can you get through? See, there we go, beautiful. Um, we are training six at a time. All right, so as we can see here, we're at 14 minutes and 50 seconds, and we're at six uh, legionaries, so a little bit behind schedule, um, obviously, by probably about a whole minute. We should be getting our next six out. Um, we should have had 12 at this point, and then be very close to 18, but uh, timing's not super important, especially in a big team game. You just, the, the obviously, the real concern here is um, not having enough um, army out to def properly defend yourself when the time comes that. Okay, so that's, and then all of you guys are continually building here. Oh, are you gonna get caught? Is the boar gonna chase you the whole way? We'll see. Yeah, the boar is gonna chase him the whole way. Unfortunate, interesting little choke point here. Um, all right, cool. We should be fully protected now. And this is kind of exposed, but it's got the houses around it, so we're okay there. And as you can see here, I clearly need a lot more iron, so we're just going to keep adding the iron. 
Um, but you will kind of zero out a lot as you uh, attempt to make legionaries from six barracks. So if you want a more stable economy, you're not comfortable with rotating your villagers as much, um, definitely try doing five barracks instead of six. That'll help you out a lot. Um, but here we go. I'm pretty comfortable with this setup here. And what we're going to be able to do is we're just going to go ahead and, and clean up shop here. Um, so 16 on food. We'll go ahead and put that to 17. We're going to add maybe two more villagers. Look at the vision upgrade. And we'll go. Uh, so ideally, you want 20 villagers on iron. So we're at 18. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rotate. We're going to build another one just for that optimal gathering so they're not uh, clustering around. But we want 20 on iron. That's really the amount of villagers on iron we need. 17 villagers here. And the nice thing is that once we uh, kind of population cap ourselves, because you're not going to be losing your legionaries that fast at all, um, that's really going to be helping us. Um, and then hopefully our allies did a little bit of scouting. We have a guy up here, clearly. Um, but I think we can probably just walk straight across. So 18 is enough that we'll send out. So we're at 17 minutes in. Um, if someone rushed medieval, they'll be straight medieval. But... Uh, doesn't matter <laughs> um, at 17 minutes they're not going to be able to get anything tanky enough out if they're Europe like the only thing that you're really worried about is just archers kiting you but when you're at their base like it's not going to be an issue and at 17 minutes um, I don't think they're going to have enough Sarbaz or anything out like that um, to deal with this and we're just going to keep training so that is pretty nice and then we can, um, we'll click up to Europe after this. I'll go West Europe. I like West Europe now, um, just because it's a nice change of pace. So uh, adding the new guys to the group, we'll just make a second group with them. And we're going to go this way. So now we have a total of 24. And was this guy AFK? It looks like this guy was <laughs> AFK. Great. We'll just slaughter these guys real fast. Sad. <sighs> Dude, fours are so strong. Oh, is he playing? I'm so confused right now. Oh my god, I think he's playing. Well, um, I was expecting for, you know, if you're going up against good opponents, they'll be a medieval age, but honestly, 24 legionaries is not going to be enough to be an issue. You guys can slaughter that. I don't want to deal with that in the future. And we'll send these guys here. All right, so that's one player down. Um, let's see. I guess we'll go north next. Um, we've got two more. They're probably here, here, and like here. Should be fine. So we're at 90 population. We're headed on the way up. We've got a beautiful economy. We're gonna have a lot of resources stockpiling with the exception of iron, but it turns out you don't need iron to upgrade pretty much any of your buildings. So. Uh, that's all fine and dandy. Oh, we hit yellow first, so we'll, we'll go this way. Um, now, if I want optimal scouting here, what I will do is break these guys up. So you guys go straight west. You guys go northwest. You guys go northeast. And, alright, so you guys found the bottom edge of the territory. Okay, interesting. Alright, so we got a tower over here. Beautiful thing about legionaries, they'll take this tower out no problem. Uh, once again, though, in an ideal situation without losing all those villagers, um, this is definitely a, a higher skill cap kind of rush just because you do need to pe keep swinging villagers and uh, be working on the economy. Um, but if you can pull it off, it's a, it's a nice and strong um, attack here. So we're going to... What I want to do here is I want to get... You just need, like, three on the tower to take the tower down. Four, even better. Um... So if you guys are like, oh, look how much 
how uh, how badly legionaries are wrecking uh, the opponents here. Uh, mass archers, you just you have to have mass archers. Um, you need to be going medieval age. Like I said, uh, the whole point is like if I'm able to do this, and you're worried that legionaries are OP. Well, I mean, if I was rushing medieval age, like I'd have a full medieval army out by now. Um, but the beauty of legionaries is that legionaries keep up with medieval units. So against strong opponents, you're fighting Iron Age legionaries against medieval age uh, armies, which is, I would say, fair ground. Um, but legionaries definitely hold their ground. You don't want to fight, like, squads or anything like that out of Europe. But um, if they're Bronze Age or Iron Age even, this is going to be kind of the result you get. Although you could probably get away with doing like archers or something like that. Um, anyway, so now that we're up into the medieval age, we're going to go ahead and get the population upgrade. We'll upgrade the farm. We're going to upgrade just the forge, not our barracks, because we're going to keep going legionaries. We're going to upgrade um, all of our iron gathering villagers and our wood gathering villagers. It turns out that food gatherers with the um, eco upgrade from the Iron Age actually gather at a speed of 1.4, whereas if I upgrade them to Medieval, I'll just upgrade one, for example. So right now you can see it's 1.4. It's gonna drop to 1.3. Uh, makes no sense. I'll have to tell the developers about that one. And we'll just upgrade the other villagers. And it kind of saves us the food, which is nice. And we're gonna make sure we have plenty of Legionaries in the queue. All right, so here we go. This guy's Medieval Age. <clears throat> this is where it's like, as he should be. You know, it's, it's late in the game. But he doesn't have any military, so unfortunately, uh, this is not going to go well for him. And he, none of his towers are medieval. Medieval towers uh, still don't hold up well to legionaries. They still melt like better, but they deal a lot more damage. So if you do have enough medieval towers up, uh, you will be okay. Um, but that's definitely well, what four bronze age towers not going to cut it. Um, oh yeah, so I did want to show. All right, so we have that one medieval guy. So yeah, one point three. The Iron Age guys, who can you can see needs to be upgraded, 1.4. That's with the Iron Age eco upgrade. Doesn't really make much sense. And then with all the excess wood, we'll go ahead and upgrade our houses. Um, he quits. It happens. And we're already back at our max of 27, and the last guy quits out. But uh, so the nice thing here, right, is um, you can basically just keep spamming legionaries. Um, if you're playing with a teammate. Uh, I definitely recommend going archers as the teammate. Archers will help kind of, you know, horse archers kite you all day long. That's terrible. Uh, the best way to kill legionaries is catch them out in the open field and just kite them with archers all day long. Um, but if they're, they're at your base, archers, towers, uh, the mix, Europe, regular Europe heavy infantry, those are kind of the counters to that. Um, but uh, if, you're pairing, if you're playing with a teammate, uh, if one person goes legionaries and the other person goes archers, it's a great strategy. Um, yeah, back to the other things I guess I didn't get to showcase, but um, so obviously the first thing we do is get the population upgrade so we can make more legionaries on the board. Uh, upgrade all of our iron and wood gathering villagers into the medieval age um, ones and then upgrade the warehouses for that extra uh, resources upon dropping off and also the eco upgrades. So uh, that's all good stuff. Get that economy booming. And then um, once the population upgrade's done, just, you're just going to queue up a whole bunch more villagers, add them to food, add them to wood, add them to iron, whatever you need. Most of the time, you're probably going to need to add them to wood because, as you can see here, we still have a lot of buildings to upgrade. But remember, do not upgrade the barracks because once you upgrade these guys, no more legionaries. We did upgrade the forge, and the reason is, and unfortunately, I didn't get to showcase that either, but as you can see here, with just the Iron Age upgrade, they have 17 damage. I believe with this upgrade it will go to 19 it definitely applies it, it, it either goes to 18 or 19 i believe it goes to 19 damage so that extra two damage is a really big deal especially when you're going against medieval age armies um so do that and then the other thing is also if you do have time get the archer damage upgrades because that will apply to your towers um i've never pointed that out before but um getting the archery upgrades do apply to european towers so um that's important too for your home base defense um, but yeah, you're just going to add more villagers. You're going to upgrade your houses. So you can see here, we're already at, um, 104 out of 125 population, and we're going to have to make more houses. So you only have one to left to upgrade, but you can, um, if I were to build more houses, I'd probably add one here, maybe a line down here just to thicken this wall. But if you do upgrade that to stone, then that's probably just fine. Um, maybe houses kind of along here somewhere or here you know just start adding to your adding layers to your walls thickening them up with buildings uh making it even harder to attack you here and we had five towers here which is more than enough um each tower here holds uh 
eight seats, so that's enough for 40 villagers. We have a total of 55, but you can just, I'm sure you can run those 15 away. But even with just those, um, we can hide our whole economy. And as you can see here, um, just from what I had queued up, we're already now at 47 legionaries, which is a massive army. Um, so this definitely really works. And then when you're ready to go to late medieval age, well, uh, usually you're really far behind because as you can see here, it was already like, what, 24 minutes in game. Um, as soon as you go to late medieval age, you're not going to spend any time there. You're just going to go straight to IR. So once you're ready to go to IR, you're going to upgrade these barracks, go to late medieval age, go straight to IR, and then um, do that. Now, you will be behind people who are sitting back and teching up and doing other strategies because uh, obviously legionaries are super expensive. Uh, but the trade-off is that you're putting on a lot of early heavy pressure or like mid-game mid pressure. Um, so you're going to be able to take out a lot of opponents. And so the trade-off is you might be behind. You won't be the first person to IR, but you will have killed one to three, maybe even four opponents um, to give your team a huge advantage. Uh, it, again, it, it can be stopped, uh, but it is a strong and scary attack that you can put together uh, if you uh, pull the economy off. It's just all about rotating those villagers um, and getting those uh, villager numbers right and doing it as fast as you can. Uh, don't lose any villagers to animals like I did, and base building will slow you down just a tad for this one, um, just because you do have such a heavy wood cost. Obviously, legionaries at 100 food, 125 wood, and 125 iron, they are not a cheap unit. But uh, because of that, we set up a really powerful economy, and you will be ready to go to the industrial age, especially by the time you add, like, what, 15 villagers more to this, 15, 20 villagers more you're going to be set. Um, but now I'm rambling. Um, we're now at a total of 59 villager or <clears throat> uh, wonderful legionaries. Uh, love this unit. Uh, hope, got, hope you guys enjoyed seeing another base building um, strategy on a different situation. Uh, once again, it's all about that creativity and getting that proper scouting in. Uh, I almost pretty much get first shoes almost every time now just because I like to have that extra scouting, but you really do have to use that scouting. If you're not scouting, then you just wasted your time getting first shoes. So make sure you're taking advantage of it and scouting around your base to build the best base possible. As you can see here, um, this guy actually got a beautiful spawn for walling off. So great for him. Um, and then these guys, this is not what you wanna do. This is the worst thing possible. Do not do that. Um, but here we can see we even with a pretty open map we were able to find our little nooks and crannies among the trees and build our walls accordingly uh, so that's this is a very easily defendable base here um, but that's it for today uh, thank you guys so much for watching this has been watcho 789